Hola, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> What, how do you reply in Spanish back, Dwayne? Uh, hola, uh, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien. Movie, movie beyond that. Red B N, a B. Yeah. Buenos días. <laughs> okay, thank you. So you're just saying hola. You say Red N. Uh, so what about bu uh, Bueno Diaz? I thought, am I pronouncing it correct? Bueno Diaz. That, that's, a, that's the same. That's another way of saying hello to somebody. Okay, okay. Uh, so I, I learned a little Spanish and I thought it was good morning. So yeah, it, it must be almost same, right? Yeah, it's, it, it means the same thing. It's the same. Hi, how are you doing? Okay. Or good okay. morning or good afternoon. Okay. So Mr. Green, till now, do you have any doubts that we can talk about? Uh, I was just going actually finishing up the last uh, question five and six. Okay, so how are they coming along? Uh, number number five on the first one. Uh, mm -hmm. the two millimeter, three millimeter, four millimeter, six millimeter. It has the one side missing and then the upper side totally missing. Yeah. So, I know I got, a, by doing the multiplication, I did the adding because I did 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3. And I got 26. If I did okay. that right. Okay, let me, let me, let me think about it. So the uh, the small side, the small missing side should be 4, right? Yeah. Okay, and the top missing side should be 7, right? Yeah. Okay, so 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 10 is 22, plus 4 is 26. So it should be 26. Do, do, do you get 26? Yeah, I got 26. I just did, I did it definitely than you did. I did the 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3. Yeah, that, that's correct. That's, that's the exact way you should do it. Yeah, that's correct. So, uh, and what about the area? So, did you divide it in, into two parts, two rectangles, maybe? Uh, that's what I was looking at, and that's why I was trying, I was working on to get it, get the answer, because I know you got to do it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be four times six or four times four. That's why I'm having a hard time. So this is something like this, right? So this is two, this is seven, this is three. Okay, uh, just wait for a second. I need to. I'll come right back in a second, okay? Okay. So this is four, and this is four as well. Now this is six. Okay, this is something like this. Okay, are you looking at the whiteboard? Yeah, I'm looking at the whiteboard. I'm seeing what you're doing. Okay, so there are two ways to make the rectangle. One is to divide it into this way. These are the two rectangles, or you can do it this way. Okay, which one do you want to go with? Okay, that, that kind of like, that, that's making it look like three different squares, so that's why I was kind of confused. No, 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 uh, we can do it in any one of the ways, so do you want to go with the yellow partition or the red partition? Uh, we can do the uh, yellow first. Okay, we will see the red as well, that's fine. So now uh, the partition is yellow. 
so there are two rectangles one is the red rectangle here and another is the blue rectangle here okay now let's talk about the blue rectangle what do you think the height of the length of the blue rectangle is uh six okay and what about the breadth the base will be four yes so the area will be 24 yes perfect now what about the red rectangle what do you think the length is uh, seven and what about the breadth three oh are you sure oh two because, I'm sorry yeah yeah because the breadth is 90 degree with the length yeah Okay, so what that's why can I kind of got a little confused because it's like the three right there two and the two there and I don't have the I didn't have the, the seven up on top. Yeah. Yeah, so you should you should write the you know uh, whatever side you find so you should write that down uh, before finding the area. Okay. okay. Now we add the both both the areas to get thirty eight. Okay. So I was looking at that the wrong the wrong way because that was that's why I was having a hard time. There. I'm like, okay, do I do it the three times seven or the two times seven or the four times oh, four? But 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 we we messed up. We both messed up. So this is the wrong answer. Now. Uh -oh. Yeah, we both messed up, yes, yeah, big time. So see this. Again, let's try. So the blue part, okay, so the blue part, what is the length of the blue part you said? Six, right? Six, yeah. But see that the, this six is the complete length of the side. And I just want this length. Okay, so it would be four times four. Yes, yeah, so it would be four times four. We do not want the complete length. And then two times two times seven. Yes, two times seven will is all right because that will make this rectangle. Two times seven is all right. So you got to watch out for you know do not get into trap and watch out for only the rectangle that you want to calculate for. So the answer will be thirty. Yeah. Okay, that's where I was getting my confusion at. Okay, so you divide it and you, and for that moment, you just look at one of the rectangles, okay? Yeah, that, that, that's why I was, I was, it was either between the four times six or the four times four. Yeah. I already knew the two times seven, but I just didn't know the which one do I do with the, the four and the six? That's okay, but you should take always the four because the, the six is for entire side and we have to worry about just the small rectangle on the bottom. Okay, uh, I think uh, that big so, one, uh, number six. Uh, let me just... I don't know um, how... Damn. I raise it. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> I'll get it back again. Okay. No, uh, question number. I was figuring out. No, question number six. Uh, the big one. Okay. Okay. Question number six. Which one? A, B, or C? Uh, A. Uh, the big, the big one. <laughs> okay. I okay. believe it's number six. Question number six. Okay. So yes, please go on. What about it? You want to try it now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The forty-four centimeter one, right? I uh, believe so. I can't. I can't get back into the uh, classroom okay. to see what it actually says. Okay. I'll tell okay. you. I'll tell you if it's the one when you draw it. Uh oh. I lost um. No. 
Are you back? Okay, I, I, I got accidentally disconnected, but I'm back. Guess who's back? Back again? Yep. <laughs> okay, Miss Dawn entered as well. No, that's no, not the one. Okay, it, it, it's not the one. Okay, let's see. So this was the sixth A. Let's. So, uh, was it in the sixth one? Are you sure if it was in the sixth one? It's the sixth word. It gets, uh the one long side, and then it increases on the right side. It okay. This is okay, okay, let me see. Uh, good I morning, Miss Dawn. Yeah, uh, I'll I think it's got hey, a two hey, millimeter in there. Hey, Mr. V. Good morning, Ms. Don. Uh, yes, Mr. Dean, you were saying what millimeter? I believe it has a, a two, mil, two centimeter or two millimeter in it. Uh, yeah, okay, I got this. So this is in the, I think this is probably in the fifth question. That is in the sixth question. So there is a big diagram in the sixth question. So, okay, let me uh, share my screen probably. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. So which one now? This one? Uh, no, it's got a big, it's got a big, bigger one. Right there. I guess that's number five. Oh, it was in question number five. Okay. So C or D? Uh, the D. Okay, the D. Okay. Let's do D. Okay, Ms. Don, we are talking about the worksheet that uh, I gave a day before yesterday for the whole class to solve. I hope you took a look at it again, as I said you yesterday. And again and again, I say this in the class. I strictly advise you all to do your worksheet very sincerely. I couldn't do none of them. Okay, Ms. Dawn, you sh if you uh, can try, then you know we can all do this together. Let's let's try to do this one together. Okay, we all can try and do because yesterday in class you were able to do everything. So do not lose hope. It's fine. We'll do this together. Okay. This is two point one. This is 2.5. This is 1.2. This is 1.5. Rest of the sites are not given, and we have to find all the sites. So let's see which sites are missing. Okay, this is the question. We have to find the perimeter and the area. Let's find which sites are missing. So this is missing, okay? And this is missing, and this is missing. What time is your tutoring? Uh, so uh, today is Wednesday. So, so today uh, I'll be tu after the class. I'll be tutoring Miss uh, Jeanette. Uh, but I'll post my timing if uh, I'll be available today. I'll post my timing, but I'll be available tomorrow for sure. And on Friday, I have lots of tutoring times. You can take, you know, more than one tutoring time on Friday. So we can discuss on Friday as well. But right now, don't worry about the tutoring. I am here and I am right now tutoring because I'm not teaching new concepts. So I'm tutoring right now. So you can ask any doubt. Okay. Now, these are the three sites which are missing, okay? Now, see this side, this this one in the bottom. It is very easy to find. Yes, Ms. Dawn, please go on. Okay. You see the way you got, you got five, two, and then you got the green, the green thing. Okay, you, the top is five, two. Ain't the, ain't the bottom should be the same? Yes, it will be the same. Perfect. Yes, it will be the same. So now, 
We got our okay, bottom. Okay, how about how about the two point one? And we supposed to go across and do the same there yes. too. Yes, we will do the same. Okay. Now see, you already know this, right? You could have solved the worksheet. You just didn't find the time to solve it. Be honest with me. We had, we had a lot of things that we were trying to study with the social studies and everything. She posted a lot of stuff to review and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand. It's fine. But yes, please be honest with me because if you say that you are not able to do because you did not understand, so I'll you know make you understand again and again. So that was, this, you know. one kind of, this one was kind of hard. That's why yeah. I, I was more confused than it. Yes, I understand. This one is a uh, little more different than others. So let's solve this. So now this now we make this partition yellow partitions and say because this is 2.1, this has to be 2.1. All right. Now because this is 2.5, this will be 2.5. Am I clear? Yeah. And now because this is 1.5, this will be 1.5. Okay. okay. It will not be 1.2 because 1.2 is downside. Okay, 1.2 is this. Now because this is 1.2, this green part will be 1.2. Is it? Are you understanding what I am trying to say? How we find the four missing sides? Yeah, well, I understand how to find the missing side. Miss Donna, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay, but see, you gotta go directly across from the number. Yes, that's what we do. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, can you calculate the perimeter for me? Now you know all the sides. Can you calculate the perimeter? So how we calculate the perimeter? We start from a point. Suppose this, then we move along all the boundaries, and then we come back to the point again. So we start from here, then we move, 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 and come back again to the same point. Okay, and add all the sides. So I'll do it with you. Uh, one point two plus one point five plus. 5.2 plus 1.2 plus 2.5 2.1 would it be 24.7 okay so uh, let me 5.2 2.1 1.2 2.5, 1 1.2, 1 1.5, 5.2, 1.5, 2.5, and 2.1. It's 25, but it's okay. You must have did a uh, calculation mistake while doing. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm using a calculator and it says 24.7. Okay, so I have to do it again now. Let me see. But if you round it up to the nearest, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not trying. No, no, I'm not trying to round it up. Two point one plus one point two plus five, two plus one point five plus five point two plus one point five plus two point five plus two point one. That's twenty. So uh, I calculated it again, and it's twenty five. Okay, let me see something. I must be missing something. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, 5.2. So, Ms. Dawn, uh, uh, are you able to add them mm. all together? So, once you add them all together, you will get you know, something around 25. 1.5 plus 5.2. Plus one point five plus two point five plus one point one. 
Okay, yeah, I would do it. I I skipped uh probably the one point five or something. Okay, that's fine. So this was our diagram. We have found all the sites. Now we know all the sites. Let's do uh, the let's find the area. Okay, shall we? So we have to divide it into smaller small uh, rectangles okay you can draw any type of line to make it as some rectangle let me try to draw this line okay if I draw like this I will divide this diagram into three rectangles okay so one is this big rectangle in the red the other two are the blue rectangles above and below is it clear that how I divided three rectangles now let's find the area for three rectangles and then we can add them together okay now what about the big rectangle what do you think is the length of the big rectangle this red one what do you think is the length any idea uh, uh, 6.1 6. Uh, okay so yeah you add you add them all together right yes you add all of the three together okay so 6.1 is the length what about the breadth what 2. about 5 this part how can you say so th see, see this is 2.5 not this oh uh three three point how three can point you zero. Say, how can you say it's three point zero that i subtracted uh, one point two from five point two so is it three Five point two minus one point two is four. Oh, four. I'm sorry, that. <laughs> I said okay. Catch it wrong. So, uh, so what we do here? So, look at the concept. Okay, we have to find the value of breadth. Let's call this as our breadth. This will be our breadth. We have to find the value for this side. Okay. Now, how do we find it? We know the value of this complete side okay we know the value of this complete side which is 5.2 now we have to take just one piece of this 5.2 we don't want the entire 5.2 we just want one piece okay so this is like the cake problem initially I had a big cake 5.2 and someone took 1.2 okay so this piece is taken the blue piece is taken from me which is 1.2 so someone took 1.2 from me so what do I have left so the left part is 4.0 which is 4 so I got 4 with me it means that this part which is left is 4 Ms. Dawn do you understand this one can you open your mic and let me know I'm still working on the first one uh, you are working on what? The first one. Uh, the 6.1? Where we found the length to be 6.1 or the perimeter one? Ms. Don, are you calculating the perimeter? Ms. Dawn. I'm still trying to add up the number. Okay, okay. Let me know when you are finished, then we can, you know, move on to other questions.
Yeah, I ended up erasing your uh, thing out of my Gmail, so I can't pick up, pull up your uh, the page. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Cause I deleted that, all the Google Classroom and stuff off my phone since I had the tab since I had the tablet. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You can. But I still get all the email emails. <laughs> So uh, you can uh, probably delete the emails as well as you are already because the emails are al always stored on your tab um, cloud. So even if you delete it on your phone, you will have it on. You know, you can log in from any other. Yeah, because I my email from my phone is connected with the tablet. Oh, okay. So it's if I delete it off, if I delete it off my phone, it deletes it off the tablet too. Okay, so probably you can I, log out of, of the tablet, probably. But I, I always go into Google Classroom to find the worksheets and everything. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get in. Uh, so, Ms. Dawn, please let me know when you are finished. Ms. Dawn, can you hear me? Okay, I got twenty three point two. You got twenty three point two? Yeah. Okay. So uh I did I wrong. What did I do wrong? Okay, so that's fine. You must have missed out at some calculation. It's okay, it is a big calculation. So uh, you add 5.2 plus 2.1, then 1.2, then 2.5, then 1.2, then 1.5, then 5.2, then 1.5, 2.5, 2.1, right? Yes. Okay. So whatever answer you get, it's fine. Uh, because uh, you... I miss, no, because it's not right and I missed something and I want to get it right. So I um, need to know what I missed. Okay, so did you use the calculator? Yes. Okay, so can you do it again for me, please? You can, sure. can you do it now while we talk? So let's do it okay. together, okay? Okay. So type, okay, I got a, type yeah. 5.2. 5.2. Plus 2.1. Okay. Plus 1.2. Okay. Plus two point five. Okay. Plus one point two. Okay. Plus one point five. Okay. Plus five point two. Okay. Plus one point five. Okay. Plus two point five. Okay. Plus two point one. And hit the equal to button. Oh, okay. Okay, I got twenty five. I missed I, I didn't put a number in, that's what I didn't do. Okay, that's okay. Fine. I got it. So the parameter for this whole object is 25. You got it very correctly. Okay. 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 So uh, now let's try to find the area for this object. And do not worry if you do not understand it at first, because this is a big question. It is. It will be rarely seen in the examination, so don't worry about it too much. Now. 
what I do is I divide the whole uh, big object into rectangles because we know how to calculate the area for rectangles, right? So I divide. Well, we know the area for the rectangles, right? Length into breadth. Yeah. Yeah. So we so we divide okay. this big object. Okay, but why why are you doing it down at the one point two? Why are you doing it that way? So you can uh, what you uh you can do it like this too. And do you want me to do it like this? Okay. Okay. So yeah, both ways is fine. You can do uh in the uh, before I told Mr. Duane like this way. So let's try. Okay. Okay. This another way. Let's try this way. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have three rectangles. Okay. The first right. one is the red red rectangle. The second one is the orange rectangle, and the third one is the green rectangle. Okay, we have got three rectangles. If we find the area okay. for the three rectangles and add them together, we will get the area for the big object, right? How do you do that? Yeah, so these are three rectangles. So you know how to find the area for rectangles, right? You just find the length and breadth, and then you multiply them. Yeah, it's five point two and two point one. So yeah, let's go slowly. So about for the red rectangle, the length is five point two, and the breadth is two point one. So five point two multiplied by two point one. If you have the calculator and you, if you do it on the calculator, it will be ten point ninety two. Ah, uh, sorry, so uh, what? Ten point ninety two. Ten point. Right. So uh, and also remember, you never say ninety two. After the decimal, you say the digit one by one. So you say ten point nine two. Okay, instead of ninety two. Okay. So it is 10.92. Now, what okay. about the green? Let's talk about the green first. Okay, what about the green rectangle? It's 1.5 and 1.5. It's 1.5 and 5.2, Miss Dawn. As you can see, this is the length. Oh my God. Okay, it's 5.2 and 1.5. Yes. Yeah. It equals out to 7.8. So uh wait I don't I don't see this. I see the five point two. I don't see the other one point five. So see. Oh okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay. I got it. So five point two multiplied by one point five or uh Mr. Dwayne, what do you say? Is seven point? Seven point eight. Okay. So seven point eight. Now let's talk about the orange rectangle. Can you tell me the length or breadth of this rect rectangle? So that'd be two point five and five point two. Now, okay, how? let's see. How? Yeah, yeah. How? That's how. Let's wait. Let's wait, Miss Dawn. Now we can see that two point five is there. Yes, we have to find yes. the. Uh, we have to find the length and breadth of this orange rectangle. Forget about everything. Yes. Mm. Now I see yes. 2.5 being there, but I cannot find yes. the length. I cannot see the length because 5.5 exactly. is the bigger length. It is not the smaller length. 5.2 is for, you know, the bigger length. So how to find the smaller okay. length? Okay. Okay. Wow. I, that was my, that was my mistake. I was wrong on that. Yeah, it's okay. Now how to find? Oh my goodness, Mr. V, help me. Yeah, how how do we find it? So let's know. You, uh, so in you so in, yeah, let let's see how we do it. So as you can see, this is one point two. This green side is one point two, right? It is in the yes. question. So can yes. you tell me? So can you tell me what is this purple side below one point two is? What is this purple side equal to? I I don't know. I just give it. It's fine. You try to solve it. You said 
You said the 2.5? No, the okay, purpose. I got a multiply, multi 2.5. What's no. 2.5? No, 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 the, no, don't, don't think about it too much. Let's try to find the purple line. Can you see the purple line? Yes. So what do you think the value of purple line is? 5.2. Yeah, it's 1.2. It's the same as the green line. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So it's 2.5 don't, don't times 1.2. No, 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 no. Don't rush. Don't rush. We have to find the value for this line, okay? We have to find the value for this line, okay? Because this is length. We already know the breadth, which is 2.5. We have to find the length, okay? What is the length? Now, this is the big thing. See, I have a cake, cake which costed me $5.2, which was, let's say, 5.2 pounds. I have the cake of 5.2 pounds. And now I have to find this leftover, leftover cake, okay? This leftover cake. And Miss Dawn, Miss Dawn took 1.2 from me. Okay, Miss Dawn took 1.2 out of my 5.2 pound cake. How much I am left with? I don't know. Okay, see, I had 5.2 pound cake. Okay, 5.2 pound cake. You took 1.2. What is left? Oh, I took track. Yeah. So, four. Four. Ah, oh, okay. So okay, this side, okay, okay, yay. Yeah. So this side is four. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So how do you now how do you find the area for the orange rectangle? For the orange rectangle. How do you find the area oh. for the orange rectangle? You do four times uh, uh, two point five. Okay. What about you, Miss Don? What do you think? the area for orange rectangle is? I'm afraid to answer <laughs> Sorry? I'm afraid to answer you. No, it's okay. I, I'm a, you know, very uh, small puppy-like person, so <laughs> I don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, go okay. on, please. Okay, so I take the 2.5 and time and uh, multiply four times two point five. Yes, perfect. Four yes. times two point five. Perfect, both of you. So you will get ten. Okay. Now, now we have to add them all together. So adding them all gives me twenty-eight point seven eight. Okay. Okay, so that's it. That's how you find the perimeter and you find the area. Okay. Now let's talk. I hope you all both wrote this together. I hope uh, I'll give you one more minute to write this all down. Yeah, that's what I ended up getting. Yeah, that's correct. It's correct. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. V, I got 28.72. Okay, Ms. Don, uh, okay, it, it is 28.72. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, we yes, ended, we we did it wrong, Mr. Gopal. We ended up putting the eight and totally wiping out that two. Yeah, he's right on that. <laughs> oh man, you guys wrong. <laughs> so, Ms. Don, yes, you are correct. We both are wrong. Apparently, we don't know how to use a calculator. <laughs> we see, see, that's well <laughs> 
Yeah, once we all meet together, you should teach me how to use the calculator correctly because apparently I'm not very really good at it. Because <laughs> even if we didn't uh, use a, a do it this way, we didn't yeah. add the zero on the end of uh, the 7.8 or we didn't add a zero on the 7 or the 10 point. Yeah, so uh, what I did was I, I in accidentally took it as 10.98 instead of 10.92. I don't know why I did that, but I did it. But we still would have got the wrong answer. It would have been 28.76, not 28.78. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> the right answer is. I added zeros onto it. And I see what you got her answer from. Okay, so now now you uh, yeah, so now you have twenty eight point seven two as well, right, Mr. Dwayne? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we all have the correct answer now, which is twenty eight point seven two. Good job, Mr. Don. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Don, again. And let's move on to our favorite part of the geometry, which is triangles. No. No, it's, it's, they are good. They are happy. Uh, you know, well, I know. I know. The, I know those ones. These the square that <laughs> one that confused me. So, I, I'm okay. still having problems with this. With, uh, with what, Miss Dawn? I'm still having problems with the triangles and okay. with some funny boxes. Don't worry. Now, uh, today you will get it because more and more you will do it, and uh, you know it will be easier for you. Okay. So, can you both find me the perimeter? Okay, I am asking you for the perimeter of this triangle. Can you find me? The perimeter. Always remember, perimeter means boundary. Okay. It'd be fifteen. Okay, I got your answer. Let's wait for Miss Dawn. What do you think, Miss Dawn? Which she is that we. Okay. Okay. But I know you. That's okay, so you want to know what the parameter is? Yes, yes. So the, so I got to add 5, 4, and 6, right? Yes, so perfect. That's 16. That's 16. 15. 1, 5, 15, yes. Oh. Okay. 5, 4, and okay. 6. Two, okay, so I leave I leave the three alone, right? Yes, because three is not a boundary. Okay. What is the height of this triangle? Is it six? Height. Height, Miss Dawn. Do you know uh, height? Is height is Three. Yes. Mr. Dwayne, do you think the same? Yeah, three is the height. Yes, perfect. Three and, is the height. And four is the base. So, okay, that was my next question, but Mr. Dwayne <laughs> gave, gave an answer. What about you, Ms. Don? What do you think the base is? Now, Mr. V, you know yes. I have I have problems things like this. Because yeah, so the base, you always told me the base was at the bottom, but it yes. fixes. Yes, but you know what? So my, uh, even, even I hate this, right? Because when I was very small, my mother told me that sun is the center of the universe and no, 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 earth is the center of the universe and the sun rotates around the earth. Then when I grew up, my teacher told me that sun is the center of the universe and earth rotate around the sun. And I thought, okay, now this is correct. Then when I grew up more, my physics teacher told me that 
uh, both are not the center of the universe and there is some other center of the universe and everything is real and i grew up and you know people keep changing these things i hate about it but exactly yeah. so yeah. stop changing things no <laughs> but the good thing about mathematics is it doesn't change much so if i tell you that so i what i'm telling is the you know why the base is changing when i said you that the base is something which is on the ground i was right uh, because they told me this but what if you are holding the triangle and it falls into the ground and it can land on any one of the face right it can land on the 5 it can land on the 4 it can land on the 6 right so you don't know right. right. what the base is so we don't know how to define the base anymore because it can fall at any time so we said that okay now we will call that side the base which the middle line touches so here the middle line is touched by the line 3 sorry the middle line 3 touches 4 the side 4 so we call this as base so now i won't change any de- any more definition i promise Mr. V, I'm taking you before. Also, I need to say my fingers were crossed. So yes, the base is. I'm taking you before. Sorry. <laughs> I'm taking you before. Ah, I don't like quotes. <laughs> It's too much formal. But yes, so the base is four. Okay. Perfect. Now, can you find me? the area how oh, can i miss the view it's easy you already know the formula it it will be very easy for you like the piece of cake yes <laughs> okay you said the base i know you said the area so the yes. area is so the area is half base into height So you say it's twenty. So do you think it's half base into height? Do you remember what area was? It was one by two multiplied by base multiplied by height. Mr. Dwayne, what do you think about the area? I I understand the area. Okay, so the area for the triangle is one over two multiplied by base multiplied by height. This is the formula that you have to remember. Yep. yep. Now you have the base and you have the height. You, you both told me what the height and base were. So what you have to do is just put the values in the formula. That's it. Yeah, so it will be tw- half times four times three. Yes, that's it. It will be six. Yes. Ms. John? Yes. Are you getting what the area is? Are you calculating what the area is? No, I'm taking you to court. <laughs> That's fine. We'll go to court together once this quarantine is over. But for now, let's do uh, the area, half into base into height. Okay, okay, Mr. Wu. You said half times base times height. Okay, yes. then you do one half. The base is four, so you put four over one, and then the three. You put three over one. How did you get six? So let's do this. One over two, multiplied by four, multiplied by three, is equal to twelve over two. Right. Oh, okay. I got it. I get it. Okay. Yes. Now, and you can always do it backwards too. You can do the half times three times four. It still comes out to six. Yeah, you can do as you 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 can do that as well. Yeah. So let's take one more question.
what is the perimeter? Twenty-one. Okay. What about you, Miss Dawn? I quit. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Wait. Eight plus seven, and then you want me to do eight plus seven. Fifteen plus six. It's twenty-one. Right. What yeah, about the height of the tank? The height is fine. And do you think uh, that as well, Mr. Dwayne? Yes, sir. Would be five. Okay. What about base? I'm not going to say how to answer. I'm going to wait to see answers because I know I already know it. <laughs> okay, Miss Dawn. So uh, you know, the base is the one that is touched that makes T. You know, you always remember the T. It makes the T with the middle line. So here, where, where can you see the T? Where can you spot the T? It, are you sure? Are you are, are you positive? Okay, stop doing this, Sensei. <laughs> but are, are you seriously sure what the base is? Yes, A. Yes, perfect. So now can you both find me the area? The area is one half. Okay. He said one half times. I already got my answer already, Mr. Before, but I'm going to wait. Okay, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you. So I want to make sure she gets it before I okay, before I so get my answer. Sure. Base. Thank you. Okay, you said do the one half times base times height. Yes. Okay. Okay. So one half times eight, and then times height is five. So that's 40. So 40 over two, eight. That's 40, right? And what's the answer? 14. 40 over two is 40? Yes. Are, are you sure 40 over two is 40? <laughs> no. No, she was just saying it would be 40 over 2. So 40 over 2 is 20, right? Yes. Yeah, so the answer is 20. Okay. Mr. Green, did you did you got the same answer, 20? Yeah, I got 20 already. I, okay. I was just waiting Thank on you. her. Yeah, that, that's good. Thank you. So, okay. No, Come on, Mr. Duane, you can give me the answer. <laughs> Mr. Duane, give me the answer. Come on now. That's not a good practice. So, uh, you know what, uh, triangles called, and they want uh -huh. to introduce themselves, you know. Now we have a lot of theory about triangles. So why no, we don't. I know the theory about triangles? Okay. Uh oh, let's get them disconnected. Yeah, so uh, okay, I'll that's fine. Oh, there she is. Mr. V, did you disconnect me? No, I, I did not. I but think you did. Okay, <laughs> so you are thinking it wrong. So I'm drawing three triangles. I know. Till that time, you can connect again. And. Uh, you do two triangles? Three, three. Three all together? No, no, no. You just have to name them. It will be an easy exercise. 
When you say name them, you mean put a letter in them? No, 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 not not that type of name. Now you're gonna make me go okay. back and looking at my notes here, Mr. Vupal. Yeah, you, <laughs> you should remember it though. I will type for you. So you have to choose from this three options the name of the triangles. What are they? Are they isocellus? Are they equilateral or are they skeletal? Hold on, I'm, I'm getting there. Give me right. a second. Uh, Ms. Dawn, do you remember that we defined isocellus, equilateral, or skeleton, the three types of triangles? I'm looking for... Okay. He's trying to confuse us, Ms. Dawn. <laughs> so he's trying to confuse us. Give me the answer. Give me the answer, Mr. Dawn. <laughs> the answer is not important. I want, I want you to go Mr. over your notes. Mr. Dwayne, he want to give me the answer. He needs to stop lying and give me the answer. The Come answer. on, Mr. Dwayne. I already got my answer. You should go to the But I'm not saying them. I don't want to. Ms. Dunn. Okay, Mr. V. Mr. V, these triangles look the same. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Ms. Dunn, uh, the, the clue is the if you look at the the numbers around the side, that uh, tells you, um, it it helps you to know what type of triangle it is. So when you look at the triangle ow. and you see the side, like the one in the middle, all of them are six six six. So that's a yeah. Let me draw Yeah. So uh, now you know what you know what the middle triangle is. If you're saying all sides are equal, look at the, na the the types of triangles, the the names of the triangles, and which um, word looks like equal. Uh, they're equal little. Wonderful. Right? So you do know. Ex excellent. Oh, perfect. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so the eiffel is that means. Wait a minute. I got. I got this. Okay. I got this. Thank you, Miss Tracy. Now, what do you think the isocell? Which one is the isocellus triangle? See, Mr. V, you just wrong. Number three. Okay, what do you think, Miss Dawn? Okay. It spelled out. Uh, isocellus. Hi. I think number three is iPhone. Which and one? Edward Igloo. Huh? Uh, Ms. John, what do you think the isocellus triangle is? The third one. Why? I don't know. Remember that Mr. Dwayne can be wrong, I can be wrong, because in the first question we both were wrong, and you made a Think correct of us wrong, right? Hey, Miss Don, so the, go, go uh, with your first instinct. Okay, my instinct's telling me it's number three. So, see, isocellus I don't triangles. Know why. Okay, isocellus triangles are those triangles with two sides equal. So, in the third, oh, you really? can. The, oh my God! I got it right! Yes. But you should remember why they are known as isocellus. And this triangle is a common triangle. The first triangle is a very common triangle. It is a skeleton triangle. Okay. The most common triangle, the skeleton triangle. All sides are different. Second triangle is equilateral triangle because all sides are equal. And the third triangle is isocellus triangle because two sides are equal. So you should remember this one. Okay. Okay. Mr. V, the the scaling uh, tri triangle means that all sides are not equal, right? Yes, yes, it's a very common triangle. Uh, 
okay i hope now from now on you all will remember this you trying to have us remember a lot of stuff and <laughs> and mr duane give him mr duane so that is the reason i tell you to do your worksheets because the worksheet helps you to remember the things that we do in class okay now now let's see i was going to point to take notes too yeah <laughs> so yes so you should take notes and now let's move on to some more questions let me see if i can get something okay uh also if you <laughs> also if you are looking to okay come on mr boo really <laughs> Uh oh. Oh my Mr. V. There goes this one. Don't I worry. Know, Let me find that note. <laughs> okay, this is you know that what a square means, right? It is ninety degree. this is this is 37 degree and this angle is equal to 53 degree well now this angle is equal to sorry 37 and 53 okay 120 40 and 20 this is 60 this is 60 and this is 60 okay okay we can erase the sides there is no need for okay that's what i would say there is a game in the v what is it i i am about to ask you the question now i see <laughs> no i oh my god Yeah, we Mr. Were, we're, 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 we're killing me. I'm no, dying. You, you definitely remember this. I am pretty sure. I can bet on this. You both remember this. Okay, okay. Mr. V, go take a nap. Yes. Okay, Mr. V, go take a nap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no, you're asking that kind okay. of question. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, you said obtuse is bad, so the middle one is obtuse. Perfect, Mr. Miss Dawn. Perfect. So, Mr. Dwayne, do you want to go with her? Are you, uh, are you, you know, sure that this is obtuse? What do you think, Mr. Dwayne? Yeah, it's a, a obtuse triangle. Okay, which one is the right one, and which one is the acute? Uh, the right one would be sixty, sixty, sixty. Okay. What about you, Miss Don? What do right. you think? The right one is one. What do you think? Which one is the right triangle? The first one. Okay. So Mr. Dwayne thinks that right triangle is the right one, and Miss Don thinks the right triangle is the left one. Okay. So this is for Miss Dawn, and this is for Mr. Dwayne. Now, what do you both think? Which one is the acute triangle? The acute one is the third one. 
Okay, Ms. Dawn thinks the third one is the cute one. The cute one, I think, is number one. Okay, and Mr. Dwayne thinks the cute one is this number one. I could be okay. wrong. Okay, so now can you both tell me what is the right angle? I'm talking about what is the right angle. Can you both uh, tell me? The right the angle would right be the first one. Okay, and uh, uh, what about you, Ms. Don? Well, what is the right angle? Normally, what do we call the, the right angle? One. No, no, the not the first one. one. No, no, in the terms of degree, degree, in terms of degree, what is the right triangle? Is it zero? Is it oh, ten? Is it twenty? Is it degrees. How many? Right angle, a right angle would be ninety degrees. Okay. Uh, what about you, Miss Don? A right angle is how many degrees? Ninety. Yes. So the first one have a ninety degree angle. Hence, it is called a right angle, a right triangle. The first one is a right triangle. So Miss Don was correct. In finding the right triangle, Mr. Duane, unfortunately, you were wrong. Darn it, but I, I, I looked at my notes the wrong way. Okay, that's fine. So, that's right. I switch it over to the, night, the first one for the right angle. And the Q is the last one. Yes. So, whenever you find a 90 degree angle in a triangle, that triangle is right triangle. Okay? An acute triangle is the triangle which is not an obtuse triangle and which is not a right triangle. All the angles are smaller than 90 degrees. So when all the angles are smaller than 90 degrees, then triangle is known as acute triangle. You almost got, Ms. Dawn got all correct and Mr. Duane, I think you got the concept now, right? Yeah, that's, that's why I said I ended up looking at my notes the wrong way. Okay, that's fine. But I hope now you will get it, right? Yeah, I got it now. Okay. Now, something about the base. So the base is confusing us all, right, from some time. So you're going to do the perpendicular and the hypotenuse? Yeah, uh, not exactly, but kind of. Well, it's kind of, kind of like, it kind of looks like that. Just <laughs> about the extended, the extended line. Yeah, no, uh, so I, I, I'm got trying to talk about the base here. So suppose this is a triangle, A, B, and C. So always remember, when you measure the height of a triangle, okay, when, if you want to measure a height of anything, suppose, okay, let's talk about a person. Yes, Ms. Don, please go on. Uh, you didn't, the triangle is not in half. You didn't make the line go down. In the middle. Yes, so I, I, I'll talk about that line, okay? Now let's okay. talk about me. Okay, it's always about mathematics, mathematics. Something should be about me. You cannot draw. You cannot draw. Yeah, so. that, that, that I know, that I know. <laughs> that I got so to know in the third class. Man. Sorry, Mr. Rain, you were saying? I was wondering who was drawn the little stick man. <laughs> so this is me. So okay. So uh, now, if you want to measure my height, okay, I'm standing on the ground. I'm standing on the ground, and if you want to measure my height, and you have a big, big scale to measure me, how you will put the scale? Will you put the scale like this? Okay, I'm sorry for this. Uh, give me a second. Could you say no. that again, Sadi? Sorry? Could you say that again? So, I want to measure my height. Okay? And I have a very big scale with me to measure my height. 
I want to know what my height is. So yes, when six I one ain't you? Sorry. Yes, yeah, six one ain't you? Yes, I am six. I am six foot tall, but I want to measure my height. And uh, will I do? I will I place the scale like this, or like this, or like this? So I have three options, which are A, B, and C. So in order to measure my height correctly, how will I place the scale? Like in A, like in B. I just told you your height. Sorry. I just told you your height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I understand you have powers beyond the human imagination. <laughs> that you all in. <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have those powers, so I have to use the scale. Now, what do you both think? How I, I should place my scale? Like the I should place my scale like A, like B, or like C? Okay. Mr. Dwin, what do you think? How should I place my scale like A or B or C? Okay, both <laughs> do not want to say. Miss Dawn, Mr. Dwin. Miss Dawn says B. Mr. Dwin, what do you think? I'm sorry, I don't have my mic and uh, B is a boy. Yeah. So why B? Because. We choose you. You did not know that, but you always keep when you have to measure the height. You always keep the line ninety degree with the base, ninety degree with the ground. Okay, you make it perpendicular. Remember what was perpendicular, which makes ninety degree with the line. So you always choose line B because it makes perpendicular. So whenever you have to measure the height, you choose the perpendicular. So in the same way, in this triangle, I want to know the height of the triangle. So you know the height is the line AD. Okay, the height H, H I Z H P. The height H is going to be AD. Okay, but you should always remember that height should make a 90 degree angle with the ground. Okay, the in order to measure the height, the middle line should always make 90 degree with the base. Okay, and as Miss Dawn know, the base keep changing. So whoever, whichever, whichever middle line makes 90 degree with the any side, 90 degree with any side is known as the base. Okay. So see this AD is making 90 degree with BC. Hence we say our base here is BC. I look into the chat. I have something. Isn't it 180 degree? Yes, Miss Dawn. The complete angle is 180 degree. But if you see angle ADC, ADC is 90 degree. Okay, angle ADC. Is 90 degree. However, you are right. Angle BDC. If you look at the complete angle, angle BDC, it's gonna be 180 degree. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Is it clear? Are you both clear on why the base uh, is 90 degree with the height? Because height has to be 90 degree. In order to, we always keep the scale 90 degree perpendicular yes. from the ground. Do yes. so you always keep the? Is it always 90 degree? Yes, it is. That change? Yes, it is always 90 degree. It will be always be 90 degree. The base and height is always 90 degree with each other. Okay. If you see the examples we did above, okay, like this one. Five, three, and four. So this three is making 90 degree with this force. Okay. And if you look at the example below this, this five 
this 5 is making 90 degree with 8. Okay. To be, you told me to leave the 5 alone. You said leave the 5 alone because that yes. was in the middle of the, of the yes. triangle. Yes. So whenever, whenever calculating the perimeter, you leave the 5 alone. That is right. You leave the 5 alone when calculating the perimeter because 5 is not in the boundary. But and, and now... And now I, what I do, I, I take the 5. No, you still oh. don't take the 5. No, you still don't take the 5. Whenever calculating the perimeter, what you do is you start from a point, you travel all the boundaries, okay? And then you come back to the point and add all the sides. So you okay. don't add 5 because 5 is not a boundary. So perimeter will still be 21. But when I ask you what the height is, you say 5. And when, when I ask you the base is, it is 8. So the, everything is the same. Okay. Daddy. Daddy. Yes. yes, Mr. Duane, please. No, I wasn't saying anything. Okay, I thought you were. So uh, everything remains the same. The additional thing you know about the relationship between the height and the base is that that they make 90 degrees always. Why? Because in order to measure the height of anything, we always keep the line perpendicular to the base. Okay. I hope you both understood this point. Let's do another example oh, that we... Because, because Mr. V, yes? in the, a, in the ADC, you said that's 90 degrees. It yes. goes up and down. But the BDC, you said that's 180. Yes. So how am I, how am I supposed to calculate the area from this? No, you're, no, you're not supposed to calculate the area from this. Don't worry about it. In the examples will be the same. I just told you an extra property. Okay, so you don't need to do anything other than this. You just have to remember this. And that's pretty much it. Okay, is this going to be on the, is this no, gonna be on the test? So, see, your triangle will look like this. Now, can you find me the perimeter? Now, let's do it all again, okay? Now, you know just one additional thing, that this is 90 degree, but it doesn't affect your question in any way. Your question will be the same. You will solve it the same way that you did previously. So what is the perimeter? 17. What do you think, Ms. Don? Okay, so you say it's 17. Okay, so both of you are correct. 17, what about the height? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Ms. Dawn says it's 5. Correct. Correct. Yes. Okay, and uh, what about the base? Yes, correct, Ms. Dawn. The base is 6. Mr. Duane, I hope you got the base is 6 as well. Yeah. So what is the area of this triangle? I got my answer. Uh, okay, that's good. Thank you.
Okay, uh, Ms. Dawn says it's 48. Ms. Dawn, can you unmute your mic and let me know, please? Okay, so I uh, I had a times eight, to, uh, no, one half times eight, and then I had to times the six along with it, so six times eight is 48. So it's 48 over two. Uh, Yes, so 42, 48 over 2 is? Oh, man. You know what is 48 over 2. You can divide 48 13. by 2. 13. No, uh, it's uh, 24, Ms. Dawn. 24. It's okay, you can use calculator in the exam. So 48 divided yeah. by 2 is 24. Yeah, but right. that is not the correct answer because hey. because you said that what is base six you said the base it. is six and what was oh. the height oh my goodness okay so I'm supposed to multiply the half times six times five which is thirty which uh. makes it a six. Which will be 15. 15 or it will be 15. Oh, yeah, I got to do 2 and the 30. Okay. Yeah. So 30 over 2 is equal to. Yeah, 15. 15. 15 times 2 is 30. Yeah. So everything remains the same. Okay. Yeah, it would be correct. That's what I do now. Okay, so I do the half times base, and then I do the height. Yeah. Let me write this down. Let me write now, this down. Now, let's see a special case of the triangle. Okay. Can you both tell me? What type of triangle is it? A right triangle. Yes. Uh, are you, uh, Mr. Green, do you think yes. that is good? That's correct. Yes. Now, there is no middle line in this. Okay? There is no middle line in this. Can you, let's try if we can find, treat it like the same triangle, okay? Don't treat it like any other triangle. So what is the perimeter for this triangle? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. That is correct. So the perimeter is twelve. Now, uh, what do you think the base is? Okay, let's three. Yes, so the base is three. What about the height? Four. And what do you think, Ms. Dawn? What about the height? It it can be missing. You I can have no idea. Yeah, you can say no or you can take a number. So here, notice what I said about the base and the height. That they make ninety degree with each other. Remember? Yeah, but then you also said that the uh, height would make a T. There's yes. no way going to make a T. So, see, uh, notice, you you know about lines, right? Lines can be extended. You know that lines go infinitely. Remember, Ms. Dawn? Yeah. So, now, do you see the T? So, the main important point is finding the 90 degree angle. So a T can be misleading, but you will always find the height. Oh, okay. Angle. Okay, the height is four. Yes. So in the right triangles, there is no special middle line. In the right triangle, there is no special middle line. Instead, the perpendicular, the P, you know this is perpendicular, you know this is base, and you know this is hypotenuse. 
So in the right triangle, perpendicular is the height. So you can say the height is 4. Now can you both find me the area of this triangle? So I do 1 half times the base times the height. So 1 half times 3 times so 12. Is it 12? I want to say the answer is 6. But if we're doing it where we're finding the area, wouldn't it oh, be Oh, no, you're right. Three he's times right. Four times five? Because, yeah, he's right. Because 2 goes in the 12 six times. You're right. Yes. And Mr. Duane, you were saying something? Please go on. I said if you added them all up and then you, uh, you know. Yeah, I like that. Like that right? <laughs> how you get? I'm still trying to figure out how you got six. Though. Okay, so we did the adding them all, all together since there's no line in it in between there. No, 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 no. So what we do is we say the height is four. Okay, so the yeah. formula remains the same. The formula for area of a triangle is half base into height. So what we do is 1 over 2 multiplied by base which is 3 okay. multiplied by height which is 4. Okay, Comes then, out, I, then I was correct. It would be 12 over 2 would equal 6. Okay. I, so every, yeah, everything yeah, means the line was in there. That's okay. So the main takeaway of this example is that in the case of right triangles, the perpendicular is the, bay, uh, is the height. So there is no special middle line. The perpendicular itself is the height because this makes 90 degree. You have to see what line makes 90 degree in the triangle that is the height. Okay. I, I hope you both, yeah, I hope you both are clear. I am going to post another worksheet today. And that worksheet will be interesting. You already know the answers of everything. Just do it. Why I am asking you again and again to do the worksheet is because that will help you in, uh, you know, getting, a, a, remembering the concepts. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So that's it for today. If you have any doubt, you can let me know. Uh, my tutoring sessions are, are on Friday. But you can always ask uh, Ms. Fantasia if she is available as well. So I'll be available on Friday, but I'll 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 try to you know take out the time on Thursday as well. So I'll I'll keep you informed if uh, I'm available or not. But anyway, you can always ask me any type of doubt in the class. Or well, Thursday be regular class, right? Or is today? Yes, no. Thursday will be a regular class, but after the class, I'll try to take out some tutoring session time. Okay. Well, it's going to be, if it is, it's going to be at the 1 o'clock because some people go back to Miss Corey at 1. Yeah, so uh, I'll talk with Miss Corey and uh, we'll try to arrange some schedule. Okay? Alrighty. Okay. Thank you, Miss Don. Thank you, Mr. Dwayne. And uh, good day. Have a good day, Miss Tracy. Bye-bye. Take care, you all, and take good care of yourself. Uh, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.